8. Warning signs your plant-based diet is causing collagen loss, sagging skin, thinning hair, and more, and how to fix them. Welcome back to Life in Harmony, everyone. Dr. Masayuki, it's something so many of our audiences, especially women over 45, tell me. They're making such thoughtful choices for their health. Eating plant-based, cutting out dairy, sugar, fried foods, you know, they're doing all the right things. Living with intention. But then they look in the mirror and think, why do I still feel so tired, so fragile? Why is my skin losing its glow? It's a common story, right? Absolutely, Alice. And it's a powerful point. There's a genuine commitment there, a deep desire to age gracefully and live well. But what I've seen in my clinic too often is that even with the best intentions, a plant-based diet without a specific, well-rounded plan can, over time, quietly undermine one of the body's most fundamental building blocks. Collagen. Collagen, uh-huh. We hear that word so much, especially in beauty circles. But what exactly is happening if we're not getting enough of it, even on what seems like a healthy plant-based diet? Precisely. Think of collagen as the vital scaffolding of your body. It's not just about smooth, firm skin which is what most people associate it with. It's crucial for your joints, for the strength of your bones, even for a healthy metabolism. So when it starts to deplete, the body sends out some pretty clear warning signs. Mm. Today, I want to explore those eight signs one by one and show everyone how to gently, naturally fix them. Are you ready to jump right in? I am. This sounds like a powerful insight for so many women. Let's do it. What's the very first sign we should be looking out for? Okay, so the first warning sign, and one that's often quietly dismissed as just age, is losing muscle and feeling weak. Have you or your audiences noticed your arms getting softer, your face losing its fullness? Maybe your legs feel less steady, or even simple things like carrying groceries or opening a jar feel harder than they used to? That quiet muscle loss? It's a red flag. Uh-huh. I can see how that could be really disheartening, especially if you're actively trying to be healthier. It feels like you're going backward, doesn't it? Exactly. I once met a woman named Leanne, 68, in Vietnam. She'd sold pork in a busy Ho Chi Minh City market for decades, not by choice, but out of necessity. When her children grew up, she followed her heart, embraced Buddhism, and adopted a fully plant-based life. Spiritually, she felt immense peace. But physically, her body just weakened. Her arms thinned, her cheeks sank. Even her daughter whispered, Mom, you look so fragile. Her diet lacked complete proteins, those essential amino acids vital for building both muscle and collagen. Without them, her strength truly vanished. Her joints ached and her skin sagged. Because, you know, losing muscle doesn't just steal strength. It takes your stability, your energy, and even your confidence. Wow, that's such a clear example. So how do we fix this? How do plant-based women ensure they're getting those complete proteins to support their muscles and their collagen? Great question. The fix is simpler than you think. Build complete proteins daily. Your body absolutely needs all nine essential amino acids to maintain collagen, muscle, and energy. Many plant-based proteins are incomplete, meaning they're missing key building blocks. So, combine foods like rice and lentils, beans and corn, or whole grain bread and nut butter, Better yet, reach for soy-based complete proteins like tofu and tempeh, or quinoa, chia, and hemp seeds. These are gentle on digestion and super rich in collagen-supportive minerals. Try rotating a few combos through your week. Plant proteins often lack lysine and proline, amino acids vital for collagen structure. Combine lentils rich in lysine with quinoa, high in proline. To close the gap, it's not about eating more, Alice, it's about combining smarter. That makes so much sense. It's about smart nutrition, not just volume. And you mentioned tempeh. I feel like that's often overlooked. What makes tempeh such an amazing plant-based, collagen-boosting food for women over 50 and beneficial for overall health? Exactly. Tempeh isn't just tofu's cousin. It's a total game changer. This fermented, protein-packed powerhouse does so much for your skin, joints, and gut all in one tasty bite. What's really cool is that, you know, unlike tofu, the fermentation process in tempeh unlocks extra zinc and iron. These two nutrients, they're often missing in plant-based diets, but super important for making collagen. Plus, tempeh gives you a solid punch of complete protein, around 19 grams per serving, along with calcium, magnesium, and those awesome probiotics that help keep your digestion happy. 
What does all that mean for you? Stronger muscles, firmer skin, and your body actually absorbing the good stuff you're already eating. Try adding tempeh to stir fries, grain bowls, or soups, or even toss it in the air fryer with some herbs for a quick, delicious snack. Honestly, this one food can really change how your body feels and how it heals. Okay, so moving on to our second dangerous sign, you're always tired or moody. Some mornings, Alice, it feels like the light inside you is just dimmed. You wake up exhausted. The simplest tasks feel heavy. You might even snap at loved ones, then feel guilty. But you don't know why. This quiet, deep fatigue isn't always from lack of sleep. Often it's biochemical. And for many plant-based women, it starts with a B12 deficiency. Uh-huh. I think a lot of us can relate to that feeling of just being off or perpetually tired, even when we've slept. It's unsettling. Exactly. B12 is essential for red blood cells, nerve function, and emotional balance. But here's the challenge. Plants don't naturally provide it, you know. Without enough, your brain misfires. You feel anxious, foggy, even depressed. I remember a retired nurse named Nancy who went plant-based after her husband's heart scare. Six months later, she told me, Doctor, I feel like a ghost. Her B12 was dangerously low. It just shows fatigue and mood swings aren't just emotional. They're physical signs your body needs real support. So, if B12 is so vital and missing from plants, how can we stay true to a plant-based diet and still get enough? Great question, Alice. The solution is simple and effective. Look for fortified plant milks, nutritional yeast, or take a B12 supplement weekly. Just one small tablet, 2,500 micrograms of cyanocobalamin, sublingual, is enough. There's no shame in supplementing, Alice. Only strength in choosing what truly supports you. Now, let's move into our third warning sign, which often shows up on our skin. You look pale or bruise easily. Have you ever looked in the mirror and thought, why do I look so pale? Or spotted bruises you don't even remember getting? This isn't about vanity, Alice. It's your body trying to tell you something. Pale skin, brittle nails, and mystery bruises can point to iron deficiency, especially common in plant-based women over 50. That's a very practical sign to look for. So, why is iron absorption a particular challenge for plant-based diets? Precisely. Plant-based iron, known as non-heme iron, is harder to absorb than the kind from meat. Without enough, oxygen struggles to reach your tissues. Collagen weakens. Skin bruises easily. Healing slows down. It's a cascade effect, you know? So, how do we ensure we're getting enough of that essential iron from plants? There's a beautiful solution, and it comes from nature itself. Boost iron with vitamin C. Pair your iron-rich foods like lentils, spinach, pumpkin seeds, and tofu with vitamin C sources in the same meal. A squeeze of lemon on your spinach, slices of bell pepper with your chickpeas, or a few segments of orange after a lentil soup can double or even triple absorption. And here's a gentle tip. Try to skip tea or coffee during meals, as they can actually block iron uptake, you know. This simple pairing can help prevent anemia, support collagen, and keep your skin looking radiant. Mm. All right, Alice, let's turn our attention to something many plant-based women overlook, but your brain, skin, and hormones absolutely depend on it. Our fourth sign, you're forgetful or mentally foggy. Have you ever walked into a room and completely forgotten why, or lost a word that was just on the tip of your tongue? Memory slips can be scary, right? Oh, Dr. Masayuki, that is so relatable. Especially as we get older, we tend to blame senior moments. But you're saying it's often more than just aging? Exactly. While many women think it's just aging, it's often a sign of missing nutrients, you know. Especially DHA, a brain-boosting omega-3 fat found mostly in fish. DHA supports memory, focus, and even skin health. Without it, the brain slows, skin dries, that mental fog just creeps in. It's a really common connection people miss. So if fish is out for plant-based eaters, where do we get this crucial DHA? The good news is, there's a perfectly plant-based solution. Get DHA from algae oil. You see, algae is actually where the fish get their DHA in the first place, so it's perfectly vegan and incredibly effective. Just two to three soft gels per week can keep your brain sharp, your mood balanced, and your skin supported from within. Think of it, Alice, as plant-powered glow for your mind and your mirror. Now, let's talk about something even more foundational. Your bones, joints, and the nutrients that quietly hold you together. Our fifth sign, your bones or joints H. Do your knees whisper when you climb stairs? Do your hips complain when you get up from the floor? That deep, nagging ache in your joints or bones is not just getting older, it's your body calling out for help. 
Yes, that persistent ache. It's a very common complaint. So what's usually missing for plant-based women when it comes to bone and joint health? On a strict plant-based diet, two key nutrients often fall short, calcium and vitamin D. Both are crucial not just for bone strength, but for collagen cross-linking. That's the process that gives your skin its firmness and your joints their resilience. Without enough of these, bones thin. Joints become inflamed. Even your teeth can feel loose or your nails become brittle. It's a significant connection, you know? Right. So how do we make sure our bones and joints stay strong without relying on dairy? You absolutely don't skip calcium and vitamin D. As we age, our bone density naturally declines, and without enough of these, that process speeds up, leading to joint pain, fragile nails, and even loss of height. But don't worry. You don't need dairy to get strong bones. Choose fortified plant milks, tofu set with calcium sulfate, bok choy, collard greens, and even almonds. And for vitamin D, just 10 to 15 minutes of gentle morning sun or a vegan D3 supplement from Lycan can work wonders. Opt for D3, also known as cholecalciferol, from Lycan. It's twice as effective as D2. Healthy bones support healthy skin, and they're the silent scaffolding of graceful aging, wouldn't you say? Absolutely. It's amazing how interconnected everything is. Exactly. Now let's address one more nutrient that quietly drives collagen production and immune strength, especially important if you've noticed your hair thinning or wounds healing slowly. This leads us to our sixth sign, you catch every cold. Some people bounce back from illness easily, while others just seem to catch every single cold. Why is that? That's so true. It feels like you're constantly battling something. What's the underlying reason for that, especially on a plant-based diet? A common reason is zinc deficiency, especially for plant-based women over 50, you know. Zinc supports your immune system, skin repair, and yes, collagen production. Without it, wounds heal slowly, hair thins, infections increase, and skin loses resilience. I worked with Nari, 67, who felt fragile after four colds in five months. Her hair was falling out, and she worried she was falling apart. Tests showed low zinc from insufficient legumes, nuts, and seeds, and how she prepared them. We added soaked pumpkin seeds, sprouted chickpeas, and a mild zinc supplement. Her immunity improved, her hair stabilized, and her skin regained its glow. Zinc isn't just a mineral, Alice. It's a vital stitch in your body's strength and beauty. That's a powerful story, Dr. Masayuki. So, how can we make sure we're getting enough zinc naturally, without necessarily needing a supplement all the time? You've got it. It's about how you upgrade zinc intake. Zinc may be tiny, but it's mighty. Your body uses it to repair tissues, fight infections, grow hair, and build collagen. And, on a plant-based diet, it's easy to fall short, especially if you rely heavily on grains and legumes without preparing them properly. So, how do you boost your levels naturally? Add pumpkin seeds, cashews, chickpeas, oats, and hemp seeds to your meals. And here's the trick, the big one. Soak or sprout your legumes before cooking. It breaks down compounds that can actually block zinc absorption. Phytates in grains block zinc. Just soaking oats overnight cuts phytates by 40%. It's a small change that pays off with stronger skin, fewer colds, and more energy. Right? Mm -hmm. Now that we've covered these essentials, let's move into two more signs that are often surprising for women on plant-based diets. The seventh sign, you gained weight on a plant-based diet. You made the switch to plants hoping for clarity, lightness, energy, but instead the scale crept up. Your clothes feel tighter, your face looks puffier in photos, and you're thinking, how is this possible? I gave up meat. Oh, that is definitely a common frustration. It goes against what most people would expect, doesn't it? What's the hidden truth here? Precisely. Here's the hidden truth. Not all plant-based foods are created equal, you know. Many women unintentionally rely too much on refined carbs, things like white rice, vegan breads, processed meat substitutes, sugary granola, or those healthy snacks that are really just refined junk. These spike insulin, fuel inflammation, and, crucially, disrupt your skin's collagen structure. I once sat with a woman named Susan, 62, who switched to a vegan diet hoping it would ease her joint pain and help her lose weight. But instead, she gained 12 pounds, mostly from processed vegan snacks. She felt bloated and tired. Her face looked inflamed. Her skin lost its elasticity. Her waistline expanded. She was genuinely shocked. Another woman, Linda, 60, avoided all fats because she was afraid of fatty liver disease and high blood lipids. But her hormones crashed. Her skin dulled. She even fainted once. 
It wasn't until she reintroduced walnuts and flax seeds that her energy and her glow came back. Plants are powerful, Alice, but only when they're real, whole, and close to the earth. So the fix here is really about quality over just avoiding meat, right? It's about choosing the right plant foods. Exactly. It's about being discerning. Focus on whole, unprocessed plant foods, leafy greens, colorful vegetables, fruits, legumes, nuts, seeds, and healthy whole grains in moderation. You know. Minimize those refined carbs and heavily processed vegan junk foods. This naturally supports a healthy weight and, in turn, better collagen health. Mm. And finally, our eighth and often deeply felt warning sign, your hormones feel off. Your energy feels unpredictable. Your skin is suddenly dry. Maybe your cycle changed, your libido faded, or your sleep became restless. You can't quite name it, but something just feels off. That's a feeling I think so many women, especially over 50, can really connect with. It's subtle but impactful. What's often the cause here for plant-based women? This quiet shift often stems from a very low-fat plant-based diet. Many women, in an effort to eat clean, cut back on fat significantly. But here's the problem. Your hormones absolutely need fat to function. Estrogen, progesterone, even mood-stabilizing brain chemicals like serotonin. They're all built on healthy fats. Without enough, your skin dulls, your hair thins, and your sense of vibrancy slowly slips away. Mm. I met a woman named Carol, 60, who had always eaten very light, steamed veggies, brown rice, barely any oil. I thought I was doing everything right, she said. But she felt emotionally flat and her skin had really lost its glow once we reintroduced avocados, flax seeds, walnuts, and a little extra virgin olive oil. Things truly shifted. Her cheeks regained color. Her mind felt sharper. Her body softened in the right way. So, crucially, Alice, don't fear fat. The right kinds are not only safe, they are sacred. They help you feel like you again. Dr. Masayuki, this has been such an eye-opening conversation. It's not about being afraid of plant-based eating, but about being incredibly intentional with it. What's your final message for our audiences on mastering this lifestyle after 50? That's precisely it, Alice. Let me be honest with you. Going plant-based isn't about perfection. It's about intention. When done thoughtfully, it can be one of the most powerful decisions you make for your health. Longevity and inner peace. To really stay strong and radiant after 50, here's how to approach it. Diversify your plate every day. Think colors, textures, and those complete proteins. Mm. Listen to your body's whispers before they become shouts. Get your blood work checked every 6-12 months. And crucially, invest in quality supplements when needed. They're not a weakness. They're wisdom. Mm. And find joy in home cooking, simple meals, deep nourishment. It's about connection, right? That's beautiful advice. And I know you're going to share some practical applications next week too, which is so helpful. Absolutely. Coming up next week, I'll walk you through five simple plant-based meals designed specifically to protect your collagen, energy, and beauty after 50. But first, let me leave you with something deeper. These eight warning signs aren't here to scare you, Alice. They're here to remind you, your body is always speaking to you through your skin through your energy, through your quiet aches and sudden changes. If you felt tired, thinner, weaker, or just not yourself, don't blame age. Look deeper. You have the power to nourish yourself differently, more wisely, more completely. You deserve strength. You deserve glow. You deserve to feel whole. Wow, that's a powerful, empowering message, Dr. Masayuki. Thank you so much for breaking down these important connections. If this resonated with you, our amazing audiences, please do like and subscribe for more stories and science-backed tips like these. And in the comments below, we'd love for you to share your journey, your wins, your questions, or simply a me too. Because as Dr. Masayuki said, together we're aging with intention. Stay strong, stay glowing, and as always, we'll see you in the next one.